In this video, we will explore the intricate mechanisms of chlamydia and chlamydophila infections. We will discuss their impact on human health, diagnostic approaches, antibiotic resistance, genetic diversity, and interconnectedness with other sexually transmitted pathogens. We will also cover reproductive and ocular complications, atypical presentations, cross-species infections, progress in vaccine development, and public health strategies. Let's dive into the fascinating world of chlamydia and chlamydophila infections. The unique biphasic developmental cycle of chlamydia and chlamydophila involves infectious elementary bodies, EB, attaching to host cells and entering via endocytosis. Once inside, they differentiate into metabolically active reticulate bodies, RBs, that replicate within a protective inclusion. Chlamydia uses various strategies to manipulate host cellular processes and evade immune defenses. This knowledge is crucial for developing targeted treatments. Chlamydial infections activate both the innate and adaptive immune responses. Immune cells recognize chlamydia through pattern recognition receptors, leading to the release of inflammatory signals and the recruitment of immune cells. CD4 plus and CD8 plus T cells generate immune memory for protection. However, chlamydia can evade the immune system through various mechanisms. Understanding the immune response is important for developing treatments and vaccines. In the past, diagnosing chlamydia and chlamydophila infections was time-consuming and less accurate. But now, PCR and knots provide reliable and faster results. Other tests like fluorescent antibody assays and point-of-care tests also help with quick and accurate diagnosis. New technologies like metagenomic sequencing show potential for detecting multiple pathogens. Understanding these diagnostic methods is important for managing these infections effectively. The emergence of antibiotic-resistant chlamydia and chlamydophila strains is a global concern. Resistance mechanisms include target site modifications, increased efflux pump activity, and acquisition of resistance genes. Inappropriate antibiotic use, inadequate treatment, and lack of diagnostic methods contribute to spread. Appropriate antibiotic stewardship and alternative treatments are needed. Genomic variability is important for chlamydia and chlamydophila's ability to adapt to different hosts. Comparative genomics and phylogenetic analysis help us understand their genetic diversity, evolution, and transmission routes. This knowledge is crucial for tracking outbreaks and developing diagnostic tools. Dual infections involving chlamydia and other sexually transmitted pathogens, such as Neisseria gonorrhea and Trichomonas vaginalis, are common and pose significant challenges for diagnosis and treatment. The coexistence of these pathogens can synergistically enhance host cell invasion, immune evasion, and disease progression. Moreover, the presence of one pathogen can influence the susceptibility and clinical outcomes of the other. Understanding the complex interplay between chlamydia and other sexually transmitted pathogens is crucial for effective management and control of these infections. Chlamydia infections can have severe reproductive consequences, particularly in untreated or recurrent cases. In women, ascending chlamydia infection can lead to pelvic inflammatory disease, PID, causing tubal scarring, ectopic pregnancy, and infertility. Additionally, chlamydia infections during pregnancy are associated with adverse outcomes, including preterm birth, low birth weight, and neonatal conjunctivitis, pneumonia, and sepsis. In men, chlamydia infection can cause epididymitis, urethritis, and prostatitis, potentially leading to testicular scarring and infertility. Timely diagnosis, effective treatment, and partner management are crucial for preventing these reproductive complications. Chlamydia trachomatis, the causative agent of trachoma, is the leading infectious cause of blindness worldwide. Ocular infections occur through direct transmission or autoinoculation from urogenital tracts harboring chlamydia. Trachoma manifests as conjunctivitis and progresses to trachiasis, corneal scarring, and blindness if left untreated. Urogenital infections caused by chlamydia trachomatis can lead to urethritis, cervicitis, and pelvic inflammatory disease. Understanding the link between ocular and urogenital infections is vital for implementing comprehensive prevention and control strategies to eliminate trachoma and reduce the burden of urogenital infections. Chlamydophila pneumoniae, primarily known as a respiratory pathogen, can cause atypical presentations and complications beyond the respiratory system. Chronic infection or persistent inflammation due to chlamydophila pneumoniae has been associated with atherosclerosis, coronary artery disease, myocarditis, and stroke. Additionally, neurological complications, such as Guillain-Barre syndrome, multiple sclerosis, and Alzheimer's disease, have been linked to chlamydophila pneumoniae infections. Unraveling the potential role of chlamydophila pneumoniae in these atypical manifestations is crucial for understanding disease mechanisms and developing targeted interventions. Chlamydia infections can affect various animal species, including birds, mammals, and reptiles. Some examples are chlamydia psittaci, 
causing respiratory disease in humans via infected birds, and chlamydia abortus, causing abortion in ruminants. Studying these infections in non-human hosts is important for preventing zoonotic transmission. Developing vaccines against chlamydia and chlamydophila infections is challenging due to complex interactions between the host and pathogen. Promising vaccine candidates include recombinant proteins, live vaccines, and DNA-based vaccines. Enhancing vaccine efficacy through immune-driven approaches is being explored, but challenges remain in achieving long-lasting protection and avoiding immune-mediated pathology. This video will discuss the progress and obstacles in developing an effective vaccine for chlamydia and chlamydophila infections. Public health strategies and interventions like screening, partner management, education, vaccination, and antimicrobial stewardship are crucial in controlling chlamydia and chlamydophila infections. By studying successful initiatives, we can combat these infections more effectively. To summarize, chlamydia and chlamydophila infections are important disease-causing agents. Understanding their pathogenesis, diagnosis, and treatment is crucial for managing these infections. Further research and collaboration are needed to address these infections and improve public health.